Hello friends, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm in Luminar Neo, and that's because there's an update out. Yes, another update. I feel like I can hardly take a bio break sometimes without coming back to find out they've made another update to Luminar Neo. And that's a very good thing. I applaud that. I mean, considering the conditions in Ukraine and the things that the company and, and the personnel there have to deal with, um, I just love this. It's amazing and inspiring to me. And of course, as a user of this product, I'm super happy that I keep getting updates. It's fantastic because things get better and better and better. It shows you not just the commitment to us as users, but of course the commitment to the Neo platform. I want to talk about what's new in this kind of quick look, first look, quick uh, video here. The first thing is they've improved the quality of the results when you use upscale AI. I want to show you an example on some portraits. I know I'm not really a portrait person, but this is the best way to show it. Let me show you. I've actually got some screenshots here. The first one is the original unedited photo, which is obviously a crop in of a portrait that's many, many years old. This middle one is what Upscale AI did to it yesterday before I got this update. You can see the face is actually slightly different and it's smoothed out quite a bit. But on this third one here on the far right, the face is less smooth. So in other words, more natural. And also it just seems to follow the shape of the face a little bit better. It doesn't seem as processed, if you will. And that's really what I'm finding with this update to upscale AI is all these portraits. Again, top left is the original cropped in portrait. This bottom one here, kind of in the center, is the uh, what upscale AI did yesterday. So you can see there, I've actually, uh, it's smoothed out the portrait so much, and it actually looks like it's slightly changed some of the faces that I feel like we lost a lot of detail, but this one in the upper right, I feel like here the eyelashes are more natural, overall less smooth and frankly a more natural look. By the way, all of these are just a 2X upscale. And then here's an example on a stock photo. The one on the left is the original that I cropped in on. The one in the center here, if I zoom in, you can kind of see that her teeth look a little bit funny. It's almost like her, her teeth got uh, kind of messed up. Almost it's like it's, uh, almost looks like a double exposure uh, on her teeth, not to mention that her skin is just really, really smoothed out. And the, again, that was in the previous version, something I did yesterday. And this morning, as soon as I got this update, guess what? There it is, upscale AI, and the teeth look great. You don't have that over uh, overdone kind of thing on her teeth. You can see there on the left where it looked like it was like almost double exposed. You don't have that anymore. And the skin is less smooth and I think more natural overall. It just looks better. So that's the first thing that I wanted to point out. Now I want to get into Luminar itself and show you some of these uh, other updates. Some of them are cosmetic, some are functional and performance related. By the way, it's a free update to anyone that has Luminar Neo. Just click on Luminar Neo and click on check for updates and it'll come up and tell you that, hey, an update is available. In this case, you are updating from 1.9.1 to 1.10.0. So just keep that in mind, 1.10.0, that's what you want and that's what's out today. Now, um, another thing that's new here is that you can now collapse these three extensions over here when you're in the catalog view. So I'm in catalog and over here on the right, there's basically three of the uh, seven extensions that are out, HDR Merge, Focus, Stacking and Upscale. You can now collapse them with this little down arrow. So that's really a cosmetic sort of change, but I started thinking about that and I'm like, well, you know, it doesn't take up all the space. It's not really a big deal to me visually, but when you collapse on, of course, what that does is it makes it a cleaner overall look, but also I think what it does is it creates room for more extensions. And so I think that we're going to see more extensions at some point and possibly they're going to be over here. So this is giving the opportunity to create more space so that if you have other extensions open, you can see them all in a single screen without having to scroll. That's my guess. They have not told that to me. I'm just guessing it seems kind of logical, but that's a nice little kind of cosmetic update, if you will. Now, I've got this photo that I took in Iceland, of course, and uh, I hope that you join us in Iceland. Uh, and if you're not, um, I hope that uh, someday you get to go to Iceland because it's magic. Uh, the other thing that they did is you will notice that there's different colors to the, the tool sections, right? Essentials is blue. Creative is this kind of pink. Portrait's been kind of this orange. Well, in the past, these three extensions, Noiseless and Super Sharp and Magic Light, 
They were white here. They've now changed them to be yellow. So again, cosmetic, but it helps visually to kind of have those stick out. And you will also notice when you favorite them, they're purple. I, th I don't think that's new, but it's new to have these in yellow. Nothing else different that I can see about the tools, but it's a nice visual to let you know these extensions are there and help them stand out. Now here's another update that I think is super cool. Let's say you open a tool. Well, you now have this little I button. So it's an information button, right? That's kind of like a universal sign for information. Uh, if you click on it, tool tips open up. So it'll just tell you what that tool will do for you. And if you click on learn more, it takes you to their user manual online where you can find additional information. So whether you want to use that tool or really any tool, just click on the tool tip on the I button. And if you need to find out more, click learn more and go immediately to their user manual online. I think that's a nice addition. And we actually had tool tips in a previous version of Luminar, like, I don't know if it's Luminar AI, maybe it's Luminar 4 or Luminar 3, maybe all of them. I don't remember to be honest because I've been using Luminar Neo ever since I first got it, uh, you know, many, many months ago, year and a half ago, whatever it was. But this tooltip edition is super helpful and super nice. And I will admit, as much as I use Luminar, there are times when I'm like, wait a minute, what about, and I, I will go look at the user manual to read something about that tool, even someone that uses Luminar every day. So that's, I think, super helpful and a nice addition. Now there's also performance and stability enhancements across the product, including in tools like Sky AI, Mask AI, and InFace AI. They've got uh, new camera support, and of course they've squashed a lot of bugs. But the big things are really the upscale AI improvements, the collapsible extensions, and the tooltips, I think those are the ones that you're going to take advantage of and use the most. And I think it's a great update overall. And again, I'm, I'm happy and uh, pleased, of course, to get the update, but I'm also just glad to see that they have the resources and the time, despite everything going on in Ukraine, to continue to invest in the platform for the benefit of us. That's my first quick look at this update. Again, it's 1.10.0 or 1.10, if you will. And it's a free update just in that top left Luminar Neo menu. Click on check for updates and enjoy it, my friends. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more Luminar Neo videos. If you enjoyed this one, check out that one. And you guys take care. I'll see you soon. And until then, adios.